Hey there YouTube, what is going on? It's your buddy DBest1A and today I have this cleaner that I want to show to you. It's called S100. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't usually use water a lot of the times to clean my bike. I might once or twice throughout the year, but not very often. Anyway, so this is my hose, my trusty hose, and that's what I'm going to be. I'm going to first, I'm going to rinse it down at first and we will then try this s100 and see what this cleaner is all about now um basically this is this is a, a concentrated cleaner so from when i was reading the directions last night it tells you it says uh ensure the bike is cool all right so if not cool with water before applying s100 so i haven't started the bike i haven't ridden the bike the bike's been sitting in the garage since since yesterday um Today is about a 70 degree day, middle of November. Kind of strange, but what can you ask for, right? So um, then they say spray a mist of the S100 over the cycle, right? So you're going to spray it over your motorcycle. All right. And then after that, it tells you. Okay, so avoid areas in which should not be cleaned with water electronics etc see your owner's manual so see your owner's manual if you feel there's an area that shouldn't be wet with electronics my uh my stereo system as you can see here all of that is mobile rated but i'm not gonna spray that down with water we'll we'll try and uh stay away from that so now it says since s100 can dry quickly begin rinsing right away so you can't waste any time um rinse off s100 using the highest water pressure and hose nozzle set the sharpest jet more water pressure equals better cleaning rinse very thoroughly until no sudsin is noticeable check to see that the surface feels squeaky to the touch if slippery continue rinsing okay uh then they have some important do's and don'ts. Um, what I'll do is I will take a picture of that and I'll post that up so that you can read that for yourself because you really don't need me to read that to you, right? Anyway, uh, so let me show you what comes in the box. So here, okay, so inside of the box, what you will get is you get a little sponge. Now I kind of found this odd that you get this in here because they tell you to spray it on and then rinse it off so at some point i guess you have to scrub i don't know there's your sprayer which will go inside of yeah, this here and this is your s100 cycle cleaner okay um and then they have uh i guess some little bit of paper there which gives you a little bit of information on some other products. All right, so let me get this put together and then we can start uh, spraying a bike. All right, guys, so we have our cleaner here. And what we're going to do now is just like the direction says, we will spray it onto our motorcycle. All right, we're going to spray it onto our motorcycle and let's see how this actually works. Now, like I said before, um, you have this little sponge here. You get this box, it gives you a couple other little things. Um, I have my little brush here that I kind of always use for the wheels. So, um, I mean, I just don't see just spraying it on and then hosing it off, or especially for these areas. I would think that you would have to do some kind of a wipe down. I guess that's why they give you the sponge. So, um, yeah, just be, just be guided by your own uh, as for how it is that you want to rinse the bike off but um there's certain areas that you probably will want to use this or use your little use that little brush so um let's get this set up to spray and let's uh spray some of this on there all right so they say spray that on there you can see i had a little dirt over here Spray that on the shield, a little dirt there too. But like I said, you know, like those areas are, you know, I would think that you would have to, you know, scrub them down for them to get clean. You know, I don't, I just don't foresee just, just uh, 
you know, I'm right-handed. I don't foresee just spraying it on there and then that's it. So I'm gonna spray some on. Make sure that you put this on your, your brake discs. Make sure that you, like the directions say, you rinse it off real good and really get it. Get all of that stuff off of your brake discs before you go and ride anywhere. Otherwise, I could set you up for a real bad day. Spray some on my mirrors. Again, you know, I told you I wouldn't spray any on here. But, um, you know, what you choose to do is up to you. You know, it is your motorcycle. Um, so I'll spray all of these areas and the engine. I'll spray that down real nice. Spray that down real nice. Frame all in these little cracks and crevices down here. And I know I'm not really a fan of using water a lot, but you know, sometimes you you gotta do what you gotta do. Every now and again, bike needs a, a good deep cleaning, so. And they say to not let it dry on the bike. So you wanna spray it on there and get it on. Start your wiping process or whatever it is that you're gonna do. Uh, the price of this was uh, 20 bucks for the 33.8 ounces. Oh, actually, I paid 18 bucks. Uh, tax, of course, brought it up to a little bit more. So, and I don't smell anything awkward. Just spraying the engine now. All right, I don't smell anything awkward. I don't smell any awkward fumes. Which is good, I guess. Never did do my back wheel. This is always a tough area to spray. Is that that back wheel? You, I would have to jack the bike up to really to really get under there. As you can see, it's really hard to to really get in there and spray anything. But. I'll try to show that to you as best as I can. All right, so now I guess if I put a little water, let's wet this little sponge here. I should wet it. I'm just gonna wipe it down a bit here. Just kind of loosen up anything. Loosen up anything on there. I know they say, they say, oh, spray it on and rinse it off. But, you know, if you spray it on and rinse it off, how are you supposed to get the, the muck off of it, right? Let's see what happens when we do spray the hose on it. You can see it does shut up but it does shut up, so we'll wet it up a little more. There it goes. All right, let's soap her up a little bit. All right, this, this is how we wash vehicles. You don't always have to follow their alleged directions because then you end up with a vehicle that's that's not clean. And my Freedom Shield, which I love to no end. Great shield. See, for here, I would usually use my... Uh, Usually I would use my my little brush there, but 
all right. We can use the good old sponge. I'm trying to just keep this so you can see. I'm trying to do this at the same time and then make sure that you guys can actually see what's what I'm doing and what's going on. Good sizing going on there. Getting a little pitting in my forks. This sucks. Well, it's a five year old bike. It's not new. So things happen. All right. Now, it, it, like I said, it is a concentrate. So um, you have to bear that in mind. Now they say the one thing with this cleaner is it doesn't have any um, harmful contaminant contaminants in it. From what they say, I guess it's one of those things where you got to read the read the ingredients, and make sure that that's actual fact. But I don't know, motorcycle paint in itself is is harmful, right? So I don't know. If you ever dealt with motorcycle paint and I, I tend to have a quite a few cleaners on hand I actually ordered some of this and I sent the sent it off to a buddy of mine that he said he had used this before and he was happy with it so I was like huh really okay so I ordered up one and I sent it to him so I guess if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to spray more of the cleaner, you could. Or you could turn the hose on, like I just did. You know, you re-wet the bike. But look, see, it's still, look at right there. Still setting up. But over here, it looked a little dry, so I'm just gonna spray a little more there. And just wipe it down. Forgot to have my sunglasses on. Just wipe that all down. And this area too. And then most importantly, what we'll do is we'll take it for a spin. I've, I've pretty much gone over it. And now I'll give it a rinse down. Went over the front wheel best as I could. And we'll, and now we'll rinse her down. And as we said, you want to definitely rinse off that front wheel very good. Make sure that front wheel is, you get all that stuff off of there. They say you want to rinse it down until it squeaks. And you rub your finger on there, it squeaks, and you see no more cutting. Off the motor. I just pull this hose over here. I 
may have to move the bike. This hose is not a very long one. Okay. Maybe not. There we go. Rinse her down real nice. Rinse off that front wheel. So I have to rinse the back off. So look, at, you can actually, I can actually see the dirt coming off of there. I see the dirt coming off off that front wheel. I don't know if you can see that, but clean off that tire. Motorcycle definitely got to make sure all of that is clean. Very nice. All in there. Like I said, I'm not usually a fan of washing with water, but every now and again, I like to do it just to get a good cleaning on the bike and make sure everything is clean. Wash off that back wheel. I can see the, I can see it on the disc. You know, it's funny, this whole area right here, I didn't even scrub that. I meant to, I actually meant to scrub that, but look at it. This whole area here is, is clean now. That was dirty. I was full of grease a minute, grease and grime a minute ago. I didn't scrub that. It just washed it all away. Wow. That's pretty impressive. I wash off this side of the wheel. So we'll wash off this side of the wheel here. Over here just to make sure I get all of that stuff off of here. Very good cleaning very good all right guys so we have completed washing the bike and i must say i'm actually impressed all right so fairing looks pretty clean and windshield of course while still wet not too bad um they said to basically you rinse it down until you get the that little creaky sound so I just try to make sure I rinsed it down I may rinse those forks down a little bit more um, rinse here to get that that's just good so that that means that you got all that concentrate cleaner off of your vehicle um, and what I was telling you this area here was full of just a lot of dirt and grime and even though it is it still does have a bit of dirt and grime a lot of it is gone and i didn't actually scrub this area i just sprayed it i didn't even scrub it and i didn't even really spray that area that much not as much as i really should have um all right so all right so that's uh so my thoughts on the s100 i'm actually very happy with it 18 bucks you know, not too bad of a price that you can spray it on. And then after that, pretty much just sponge the bike down a little bit and then hose it off. Uh, minimal work. You just want to make sure, like they say, that you get all of the actual product off of the bike. So off of your rotors, off of your back rotors, and actually off of your tires. So if you make sure that you get the product 
off of those areas, I think you should be good. Um, so make sure you rinse the bike down decently, very good. But I think it's a, a very good product. And there's some areas that I know was on the more dirty side. And I noticed that a lot of that dirt was gone. For anything that's um, stuck on a little bit more, I think, yeah, you will have to you will have to clean that a little bit better. You will have to take that sponge and you will have to uh, spray the, sp the spray the S100 and use that sponge and clean just a little bit more in those areas. But this is, I think, a very good and uh, a cheap option for cleaning your motorcycle. And I didn't really know if I would like it or not. I just kind of took a chance and I ordered it and come to find out that it's pretty cool. <laughs> so would I recommend it? Would the best 1A recommend S S100? Would I recommend it? And I have to say, yes, I would. I would recommend it. Um, there's, not, there's some other things, other products out there that I don't know if I could recommend. But this one, yeah. I actually like it better than a lot of the uh, actual uh, car wash soap products that I have. So, um, yeah, if you get a chance, definitely check it out. Um, it doesn't tell you anything about the ingredients, but I'm pretty sure a lot of that you can look up online. All right, guys, so this is the best one out, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.